there, my name is Kat and you are watching the I Write, I Read, I Review edition of Stacking the Shelves, which is part of my Shopaholic Sunday feature. Anyway, I'm here to show you the books that I have bought, borrowed, or um, received this week. And most of them I've bought, although I did get one review book, I'll mention that first. It is Strength by Carrie Butler. I've really been looking forward to reading this for a while, so I'm really excited that I am having the opportunity to do that. Thank you very much to Carrie Butler and to Expresso Book Tours for the opportunity. Um, the rest of the books I bought are actually from an Amazon order. I got some birthday money early. The first one is Rage by Jackie Morse Kessler. You might remember that I reviewed Hunger. I think that was back in November. I know it was my December um, book of the month pick. I absolutely loved it. So I couldn't resist picking this up. I've wanted it for a while and I figured why not? Let's get it now. So this is Rage. I'm actually reading it as we speak. I'm halfway through it. Personally, I'm finding it even better than Hunger. I really like Missy as a character. I really like the interaction between her and Death. I won't say any more about that, but just overall, really, really good. If you haven't started this series yet, you really should. This is awesome. Highly recommend. Very glad I got this. And along with that, I also picked up a copy of Loss, which is the third book in this series. The fourth book, I think it's called Breath, comes out in April. So I'll really be looking forward to that as well. I hope I got the title right. I forgot to check before I started the video. But this one is about somebody taking over Pestilence's role. So as somebody who writes sort of a plague and disease character in my own work, really excited to read this one just to see how different the two end up being which her stuff is really different than mine which I was really nervous about that when I first went to read this but fears are definitely laid to rest our stuff's really different thank goodness but really excited to read this one might wait until March or might break down break my own list and read it this month we'll have to wait and see but you can look for a review for this in the soon to semi distant future the next book that I got is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Now, this is coming out, or actually it just came out yesterday in theaters as a movie. And Jay is supposed to take me to go and see that, provided that he can get the time off work and everything, and he gets to come up here um, around my birthday, which is a couple days after Valentine's Day. So I figured I should get the book and I should read the book first. So I'm pretty excited about this. I really love this cover, which I think is inspired by the movie, because these look like the characters I saw in the trailer. So really happy with how they did this. I usually don't like movie-inspired covers, but this one is pretty cool. Anyway, I can't wait to check this out. I'm going to be doing a review for the book, and I'll be reviewing the movie as well. So you can look forward to my thoughts on both of those. And Jay might actually be checking this out and might be doing uh, his and hers commentary type review with me on those things as well. The last book that I got this week is one that I have wanted for a while and I'm super excited that I got it. This is Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill and I am really, 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 really looking forward to reading this because I have wanted this since the moment that I first saw it and I have had everything under the sun happen to me. I have had this be out of stock. I've had myself forget the title, I've had myself forget the author, I've had, I've had like any number of things that could go awry, go awry. There's always a book every year that seems to do this to me, and this one was stubborn, but I did get it off Amazon, and now it's here, and I'll be able to read it, finally. The books that do this to me usually end up being good, so hopefully this will hold to that trend. Well, we will find out soon, because this is on my February reading list. So you can look for a review on this in the coming weeks. Okay, I'm going to just quickly also show you, I went to Costco and I got all four seasons of Merlin. This looks really cool, so I figured that I would get it and I would check it out because it really grabbed my interest. I like anything based on any kind of like mythology or legends or anything, so King Arthur is pretty high up there for me. I really like anything to do with that, so I figured I would give this a go. I got really, 
really, really good pricing on this. I was going to pay $35 a box set for the first three seasons of it, and it was $25 a piece at Costco, so I figured why not. But that's all for me. Yeah, I feel really silly when I say that because I usually end up with a lot. But I'm really happy with what I got this week, and I'm really excited to read the books, and I'm really excited to check out the DVDs. Anyway, if you have done a book haul, a book haul and in my mailbox, a stacking the shelves, a um, any of those basically, any of these, any of the um, like sharing what you've got, things that people put on here, feel free to link up, and I will drop by and see what you got. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.